Gavin James, welcome back to Killarney. Yeah. Uh, we had you uh, 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 in the stage on an interview last Christmas, yeah. New Year's Eve, you were playing here, and mm -hmm. uh, little did we know the world was, the gonna world was going to just explode and we'll all just be confined to our houses. Yeah. So what's it been like? Uh, what's the last 12 months, I suppose, been like since I've talked to you? Um, I was, I was well, after the gig we did last year, I was quite hungover, so that was the half of January so gone. The new year went off to a great start yeah, on the first so year. I was, uh, yeah, and it was a dry January up until the point of um, the 2nd of January. <laughs> and then, yeah, no, um, I, grand, I, I was very lucky enough to kind of get to do some stuff at the start of the year mm -hmm. and finish off. I was lucky I got to do the tree arena in February, yeah. at the end of it, and it's 29th of February. Mm -hmm. um, and then I think two weeks after that, or like the 15th of March, everything yeah. just kind of went completely gone. Yeah. I, nobody even was talking about it in February. I, but I think one person like had said it on my Instagram, I think the day off. Yeah. Even. I, yeah. was like, I was like, what? What's this thing? <laughs> yeah, because it just felt, I suppose, it was just something over in like, yeah, China. We thought it like, wasn't like that close, but yeah, yeah, yeah. And it just kind of just swept across the world yeah. and uh, ruined our lives. But uh, we won't be talking about Grand. this negative yeah, all uh, the, every stuff. The whole thing. doing it every time I go. I'm just having a normal conversation. Like you're getting a roll in the shop. It's like, yeah. do you want some um, some sausage? On? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Sausage. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's terrible, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so how about that <laughs> pandemic? Like it's uh, just. Will it ever go away? Yeah, Grab so it. we're not going to talk any more about a pandemic for the rest of this interview. Come here to me. Yes. you got a brand new single out, Man on the Moon. Man on the Moon. Tell yeah. me about it. Uh, I, wrote, I wrote it during... <laughs> See, it always goes back to it, doesn't <laughs> it's it? It's gone back to last time ah, again, isn't Oh, no, it? I'm going to try to dodge it. You um, did so well. I'm trying to dodge it. I wrote it in the in the gaff. Yeah. Um, and it's it's about kind of looking after your, uh, the people that you care about the most. Mm -hmm. and Because I kind of took the idea of the Man on the Moon and not the whole world's thinking about the person mm -hmm. on the moon, but he's up there by himself. And um, just kind of trying to remind people that you're not alone you have people thinking about you even if you do feel alone so i wrote that mm. about the kind of looking after my my missus pretty much yeah and um yeah so it's kind of I'm trying not to talk with the ear so <laughs> hard. Yeah, uh, i'm doing my best I'm to not, not gonna, think not about gonna, it i'm not gonna say it. but yeah that's how it kind of came about and then i recorded it in the gaff and yeah. um yeah it was kind of the only one i ever kind of finished in my house in my little tiny have a little tiny setup mm. and um yeah it was, it, was, yeah, it was cool to kind of finish it uh you i presume you haven't done gigs um in the last few months. No. So you haven't got a reaction off the crowd, let's say, for this single. So what's that uh, been like? I mean, because you probably like love gauging from an audience yes, uh, right. when you bring out a single. You don't, so. you don't get the road test anymore. Because mm -hmm. like, I, yeah, I used to go into town, into Temple Bar, and um, into a place called Tree Crown Alley, mm -hmm. which used to be Aim Dorns. Um, and it's where I used to do all the gigs when I was doing pub gigs. And I always went in there because everybody that went in there was from Brazil and from America, yeah. from everywhere else. And they were like, one or two people would have a clue yeah. who I was. So I used to go up on stage and play, like I'd say the likes of before, I think, always came out. I yeah. went up and sang always before anybody knew. So I got the road test it to a group of drunk people from all over the other, world. From all over the gap that had no idea who I was. Yeah. So I, so. Yeah, so you didn't get to do that. So And um, even with the likes of um, doing Rubies and doing mm -hmm. um, some of the gigs where you can kind of, or even just doing any gig and be like, here's a new song. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so it was a strange one. It's gonna be very cool when, when the gigs do start again, yeah. and you have all these new songs that you've never heard anybody talk like sing. Even like I released boxes uh, in March, I think March, mm. and uh, yeah, so that came out, and then it never. I'd, I'd, I'd love to gig. see what the thing would be like. Yeah, yeah. Playing, like. Uh, well, tonight you're going to be doing something which we haven't seen really in the INEC before. Is mm. you have a virtual wall behind you of yes. all these people at home. Mm. And we won't mention why they're at home, but they're at home yeah. tonight. They're at home for uh, some reason. I don't yeah. know why. It's uh, yeah. like, what is it? Friday? The late late show is on or something. <laughs> and uh, so you're going to be playing to all these virtual people on the screen behind you. Have you done yeah. that before? Uh, I've done a lot of the Zoom things. Mm. Um, this is kind of just like a giant arena version of a Zoom gig. Yeah. Pretty much. Um, I think we're going to have like between I think f however much we can fit on the wall. Yeah. Including everybody who's going to be watching anyway. Yeah. So I think it's a, we can fit 500 or something on the wall. Zoom is crazy. Yeah. And hundreds but of people on it. Like, there's so many. It's so nice. you'd have you'd want to have like three hundred friends, like just yeah. to do a Zoom. I can't be doing party, them. Like, can't yeah. do the Zoom they're parties dangerous. anymore. They're dangerous. Were you, were you doing a lot of them? Let's say with your friends at the start. Yeah, just the drinking quizzes and stuff. Yeah. Ah, uh, not anymore though. I got asked to do one rec when recently. I was like, oh, now. Yeah. Done with the Zoom quizzes. Um, like oh, I was doing them at the first like March. So I think many. it wore off after about two weeks. Yeah, they did. Yeah. yeah, because you hadn't seen anybody in ages. It's kind of like oh, you can kind of see people. Yeah, yeah. Well, I suppose tonight you can test them and kind of look behind you and go, are they are yeah. they enjoying it? So I have yeah, two. Yeah. So I have like one mic in the front and one mic in the back. So I'm gonna yeah. go back every so often and check. Yeah. And, like play to the screen. Yeah, yeah. So I'll, I'll kind of half and half it with the singing and all that. So yeah, yeah. It's gonna be strange. They're obviously. I'm gonna. I don't know what way we're gonna do it because we, we can't. Like nobody can cheer. 
So you won't hear you won't hear people. I might. I'd, I'd, yeah. Well, I'll see if I can figure out a way to unmute yeah, yeah. everybody at the end of every. You song. just have a button like, like here somewhere. I just pr- press on, it. And uh, the sound engineer is gonna go ape. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> you released the boxes EP. Yep. Uh, which is, went down a tree. It went to number one in Ireland. Yeah, bananas. Yeah. So yeah. How, what was that like? Uh, because. How long was it before you released the Boxes EP? Did you have your last release? Was there a bit of a gap there? You there were touring a, a lot. Yeah, so. there was a big gap. I think. I, I, uh, what did I release? Um, boxes. I mean, I, think, I want to take it home. Was kind of the last yeah. album, anyway. Um, and then I just went on tour for ages. I think I went on tour for like a year and a half. Yeah. And then, yeah. And then when all this happened, um, released the EP. It was mm-hmm. kind of all the songs they wrote with me in the gaff. And then I did a lot with Phil McGee. Yeah. Um, who's who's awesome. Uh, and. Yeah, that all went on the EP. It's the first one to ever go number one. So it's just yeah, true. so which is bad. It was great because yeah, I think yeah. every time I release something, in the first time, first album, Adele released something, and I think Ed, Ed Sheeran oh. released it the same day, and I was like, Bastard. yeah, yeah, <laughs> you're up against like like if you're up against Adele, like it's like the next release, Michael Jackson will just all of a sudden release I'm a new album. Second album, yeah. the second album was we who was uh, it was Gas, it was. Uh, Oh, it's the movie, the the big movie. Oh, like Star is Born. Like, and I, I went yeah. to see it, and I was like, oh, this yeah. is class. And you're, then I was like, they released the same day. You're gonna have to write the soundtrack for a movie yeah. and bring that out as well. Yeah. The, the next release. Yeah. Speaking of boxes, right? Yes. I have this. This is Carl's box. We're in a box. Okay. I must just go over here and get get my box. Savage. And, uh, class. In, inside my box. <laughs> is a, is random questions, right? We've been doing this with a couple of guests we've had inside here. Savage. So uh, some fans have sent these in. Other ones are just uh, ones I might have thought of myself. Dead. And, uh, basically, you got to just pick out a random card. There'll be a random question, and it saves me kind of having to take a question. Cool. So you have to answer these as truthfully as possible. What are you most proud of? Um. Re- recently, I'm probably my dog for not Re- using the kitchen as a toilet. Anymore. Really? Yeah. Have you in- trained it properly? He's smashing it. Yeah, yeah. He's, he's doing a great job. So my dog right now. Did you? How did you train your dog not to do that? He just learned really fast oh, yeah? not to do it. <laughs> right. um, I know he just barked at the back door every time he needs to do it. Yeah, yeah. Stuff. It's all about yeah, t- timing, knowing when he has to go. But anyway, yeah. and if he does go outside, be freaking out. Like, yeah, yeah. He smashed it. Um, I might, I might get you to sit down. Just, oh, I yeah. don't know. Is your head in the frame? It's probably in the frame, isn't it? <laughs> 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 it's just all, it's just all <laughs> mostly neck. <laughs> all right, I'll, I'll pick them out for you. Baby. You got it. Okay, here we go. I right, smashed it. Question number two. What am I most embarrassed of? Embarrassed of? I don't really get embarrassed. At all? About many things. No. No, because I fall a lot and stuff. Yeah. Like, I'm embarrassed and all. I, I fall a lot. And I'm like, way, it's fine. Sober or just on a nice house? It depends, actually. <laughs> I'm not. I'm really not too embarrassed about anything. Okay. Not at the moment, anyway. I'll let you know. Jesus. Yeah. Well, there's a few days left in the year, so we yeah, we'll see we, what might, we might find something. Least favorite smell. I think my least favorite smell is. It's probably when your dog is in the kitchen. Probably when my dog is there <laughs> taking a shot in the kitchen. Yeah. No. Or or like yeah, probably that or pee. Yeah. Oh, I can't stand <laughs> like laneway it. Laneway pee. Yeah. Like, no. Okay. Not into that. Last time I cried. Well, last time I cried was watching. It's a mo- movie I watched recently. I think it was actually like a. <laughs> it was the prom movie. Have you seen the prom with James Corden? The new one is in. I was very I turned hu- it off after a few. So I was pretty hung over when you I watched cried it. At that. I was pretty hung over. There was a part uh, in it. It's. I thought it was quite good. I turned it off. Like. Did you? Yeah, I did. Yeah, yeah. I thought it was good for some reason. I, 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 I'm not mad at music. I am so. mad into musicals. Yeah. So I love musicals. Yeah, I, I was extremely hung over. So that's why I was just I, like. <laughs> is there a really sad bit in it that you have to? Cry? I think it's at the <laughs> end of it somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> when he meets his ma or something. Oh, I was yeah. like, oh. I'll watch it. So and if I cry, look, I'll be oh, yeah. thinking of you. <laughs> Who was your first crush? I think it was uh, out of the pink. Um, what's her? Power Ranger. Pink Power Ranger. Or oh, Kelly Kapowski, probably. Kelly Kapowski is probably everybody's Who's first, Kelly first crush. Kelly Kapowski. Kelly Kapowski. Say it by the bell. Say it by the bell. Oh, f- yeah. yeah. I, do, yeah. I, I have keep throwing them in and we keep getting different. We had the lads from Hermitage Green in the other yeah. day and they were saying that the, your man, uh, Barry was saying that his biggest crush was Margaret Thatcher in The Crown. But it's. Oh, in The Crown. Oh, but yeah. She's in sex education. She's been in loads of, loads of films, but she's, she's Margaret X-Files. Thatcher at the moment. X-Files. Yeah, but she's Margaret Thatcher like, she's at the moment. She's Margaret Thatcher at the moment, yeah. We just thought it was a bit strange. Yeah. What do you think a ten year old will tell you now? What do you think Ten year old you ten year old tell you would tell yeah. you now? Um You're taller than me. <laughs> yeah. Really? Probably, yeah, that's it. <laughs> All right, last <laughs> one. 
Oh, this is who's your first crush? Can I pass All right, again? okay, we get one more. I'm so. surprised we haven't had the same one again because I keep just chucking them. I know, I'm not really looking. Yeah, usually people just yeah. throw them on the ground. I should probably chuck them on the ground. What's your most memorable gig? I think my most um, was the Tree Arena because that was the last one, hmm. and that was that was a gig of that was a combination of like years and years and years of gigs. Mm -hmm. So I think uh, it was the only gig that I've ever done where I think all the songs were just like sometimes you do gigs and you do you might have a couple of people singing along to songs. Yeah. And you're like, you play the next one, and you're like, oh, is this gonna is it gonna go down now and, until we play the next one? Because mm -hmm. that was the only gig I wasn't worried about the set list at all. It was kind of like, let's just play as many songs. As we yeah, can. yeah. Um, so that one's probably the most memorable. And also the night afterwards was amazing. <laughs> Do you remember it all? No, <laughs> nothing. All right, well, the night before was memorable. <laughs> yeah. Uh, listen, I'm pretty sure your gig tonight is going to be memorable. That's gonna be um, great, right? It's going to be New Year's Eve when it goes out. And yeah, um, yeah looking forward to seeing it. It's going to be Gavin James. Good stuff, go buddy. On. All right, I'll Enjoy. see you soon. Chat to you later.